This video is intended for operators already familiar with performing print and cut operations using Cutting Master 3. This video will show setting up the expanded registration marks feature using Cutting Master 3 on 54 inch wide media. Before creating your file, keep in mind that it is recommended you allow about a 1 inch space on each side of your media regardless of the width. This 1 inch space will allow clearance of your outermost push rollers from rolling over your perforated graphics. We will be creating our registration marks using a rectangle. Using the rectangle tool, create a rectangle on a separate layer. A good tip is to cover about 75% of your artwork with the rectangle and the rectangle corners are at least half an inch away from any artwork. With this rectangle selected, go to the file dropdown and into Cutting Master 3 registration marks. Select options, relative to cut job, and convert rectangle, and make sure your mark style is four marks type two. Click on apply. And you've now created your expanded area cutting registration marks. You're ready to send your job to print. Again, this demonstration is using 54 inch wide media and our artwork is 52 inches wide to allow about a 1 inch space on both sides for push roller clearance. Sending your print job, my printer has half an inch margin already set up, so I'll add another 0.3 inches to get my job centered. Now you're ready to print. Load your printed media into the cutting plotter. Note the space on each side of the media allow clearance for the outermost push rollers. Next, we'll enable the expand mode for the outermost push rollers. We'll go into the menu, we'll select area, which is number three, then select expand, which is number one. Default is zero. So let's bump that up to the maximum allowable limit of 0.394 inches and hit enter. Hit menu to exit. And now you're ready to send the cut job. 